All right, here's my little homemade hydrogen generator setup. This is the absolute most simple way I could find to do it. As you can see, this is just a bunch of electric cover plates, stainless steel, two nylon bolts, bolting it through, stainless steel nuts attaching the wires, drop it into tap water. This is Houston, Texas tap water, so it's not exactly pure water. I've just connected it to the battery. We should see some very, very, very minute bubbles coming up. I can already see a little curtain of very minute bubbles coming up. And this is off of pure Houston tap water, unfiltered. It's supposed to be citrus acid crystals, according to the package. Let's see if you can read that on the package. Okay, looks like we've got it dissolved in there pretty good. This is about a half of, a little over half a gallon of water. This is how much water that that package is supposed to be mixed into, which is about eight ounces. So you can tell that it's going to be severely diluted in this half a gallon of water. This is simply, I guess it's six stainless steel electrical cover plates from Home Depot. I think they're about a dollar a piece. Hooked up to some 10 gauge wire, ran through a 30 amp fuse, hooked up to the positive and the negative side of the battery. No special electronics, nothing. All right, here goes another experiment. I've added a little table salt for this experiment. Let's see if we get any more hydrogen production than the previous experiment. Yeah, I think we are getting a little more. It is to the point that it is, I can hear it bubbling off and it is disturbing the water. The bubbles are coming up so fast. Still not sure we're at the point where you could fuel an engine on this, but that is a lot of hydrogen compared to the first experiments. Way just to a single battery. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect it. See, it stops and the water clears instantly. I'm going to add a little more salt. Alright, here we go. I'm going to plug it back up. See it instantly started pouring off the hydrogen. That does appear to be quite a bit of hydrogen coming off of these simple stainless steel plates. That I just went and bought from Home Depot for about ten dollars. The first experiments I used, the plates were separated by one zip tie, one just regular black zip tie, and this one is separated by two plastic zip ties stacked on top of each other. There's no wires connecting the plates. This is simply connected to one plate on one side, the other plate on the other side. The electricity flows through the electrolyte, which is now the salt water. You see, as soon as you plug it up, it starts making the hydrogen. All right, here we go. We're going to do another test with the same salty solution. This time we're going to use a 9-volt battery and see what kind of hydrogen production we get off of this. Okay, let's see here. Just loosening up. All right, and touching it. There you go. That didn't take long. Got a pretty good bit of hydrogen coming off of 
simple 9 volt battery There you have it.